Hello and welcome to our first episode of Pwani Diaries 2023 edition. This is a special program here on Mwalili TV where we bring you exclusive and the most untold stories exclusively from the Kenyan coast region. And this episode we feature this newly introduced electric tuk-tuks in Mombasa and how they expected to boost the transport industry in the region. My name is Steven Mwalili and this is Pwani Diaries only on Mwalili TV. This is the image you get on the road every time you step in Mombasa city. A city with over 4,000 matatus and more than 7,000 tuk-tuks, it is with no doubt that transport is one of the key pillars to the economy of this place. An East African company, Green Tech Africa, is trying to revolutionize the transport industry in this city by introducing electric tuk-tuks and cars. The company has been operating in Ethiopia, Djibouti and Rwanda and Kenya seems to be the next beneficiary of this project that aims at replacing fuel stations with charging spots. I meet Amina Ibrahim, the director of Anna Green Tech Africa. She takes me to where the new tuk-tuks are packed as they charge before the drivers hit the road for their morning catch. Mombasa had 7,000 uh, tuk-tuks yeah. and all of them are noisy. Yeah. You know, the noise pollution in Mombasa, if you just stand still in the city and listen to the tuk-tuks, you'll understand what kind of noise that comes from that city. Mm. So we decided to come in and um, bring uh, the green energy to just reduce the noise and the carbon emission. And also, uh, they look different. It has um, comfort. Yeah. Uh, when you're in, there's no noise. Two, you know how many uh, pickpockets yeah. eh? mm. that has happened in the tuk-tuks. Like you try to look at your phone and your phone has gone. Like mm. you've had a couple of cases. Yeah. So with us, uh, security also, uh, the privacy, you can roll up your windows, you can be in your own space, the car is locked. It's like being in a mini car, but which is a tuk-tuk. And also the world is changing. Everybody is going electric. Yeah. Why not uh, Kenya? Why not Africa? Mm. These cars are built by an African to just uh, bring a solution mm. to the problems that we are having. The new electric tuk-tuks have brought a lot of excitement to the residents of Mombasa as everyone wants to have a test. Apart from their uniqueness in terms of designing and color, Anna Green Tech Africa tuk-tuks have got special seats for three passengers, well-fitted doors and windows, an inbuilt fan amongst other features. As passengers enjoy smooth rides with the zero air pollution, the riders of these new tuk-tuks don't have to queue in petrol stations for fueling, which makes it cost-friendly as the price of fuel keeps on rising. The assembling of these new tuk-tuks is done here in Mombasa by the Associated Vehicle Assemblers AVA, which Anna Green Tech Africa believes it will create more local job opportunities. Amina tells me that there are a total of nine tuk-tuks on the road as they plan to bring more tuk-tuks and even cars starting from March this year. This ones we are using them for research and development. So as you can see, I was telling you about uh, looking for suppliers for different kind of parts, the ones you need. So this and the space also at the boots, we have the door, yes, but there's no space to put luggage. So the next shipment that is coming will cater for the luggage space. Um, it's basically telling us we can charge it here, we can charge it at certain spot, infrastructure in place. We're trying to see how these tuk-tuks as electric or any other cars that are coming, how are we going to manage the infrastructure of it. Mm -hmm. So these ones on the ground, the nine of them, it's like the company is trying to know the feel of electric on the ground. It's, it's a new um, project. Steven Andega is a former truck driver. He has been working as a driver for this new electric tuk-tuks since they were introduced late last year. Before we hit the road, Stephen promises to give me some basic training on how to operate the tuk-tuk. 
So uh, I've never ridden a tuk-tuk before, but I'm told that uh, this one is a little bit different compared to other tuk-tuks. So I want to try and see if I'll manage to, to ride it. The tuk-tuk is automatic as compared to the ordinary tuk-tuks in Mombasa and it took me around 25 minutes to learn how to ride. At this point, Steven shares with me his experience with this new electric tuk-tuk and how it has made his work easy. Sasa hii advantage yake kwanza haina mambo mengi. Hakuna mambo na clutch, hakuna mambo na gear. Ah ah. Hii ni pedal ya brake peke yake na accelerator ya mkono peke yake. Sasa hapo kwanza dereva sichoki. Sichoki jambo la alafu haichokeshi. Alafu jambo la pili abiria wanaipenda sana hii. Hata niko na namba zao wengi sana wanaona wananishumiwa na ndio niko nao online wana 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 wananiita na ndio nawachukua. Na sasa hii advantage yake hii kidogo naona iko mzuri. Wale wenzangu wengine wanalalamika oh mafuta mafuta mambo lakini mimi hata sijui kulalamika kwa upande wa mafuta. Mimi niko sawa kabisa siendi kwa petrol station yote mimi. Ukiona petrol station labda niwe nimeenda kutafuta chenchi ama nimeenda kuongeza tire upepo imepungua kidogo lakini mambo na mafuta hapana. This is the best experience I've ever had. A smooth ride and very comfortable. And I'm told when it is fully charged, it can go up to 100 kilometers. To get the feel of the business on the ground, I visited these tuk-tuk operators here at Bakstan stage in Mombasa. First, I wanted to know the cost of operating a normal fuel tuk-tuk on a daily basis as compared to the electric ones. Arun Deche has been working as a tuk-tuk driver in Mombasa since 2015. Mm. 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 2,200 I asked Arun what he thinks about the new tuk-tuks and if given a chance he can change from the fuel tuk-tuk to the electric ones. Ni wazuri tena sana. Na hiyo cost ya mafuta ikikatika, maki maji niwe tangu asubuhi yani wabebe ukeka mfukoni, wabebe ukeka mfukoni. Hakuna kuingia kwa petrol station. Hiyo sio ni kama ni mbaya. Hiyo 1200 extra abonge kama mafuta. Abonge kama mafuta ingia kwenye mkoa, kwenye mkoa kwa. Anna Green Tech Africa is planning to bring more electric tuk-tuks, cars and even minibuses to Mombasa as they put in place different business models for their customers. People will be able to buy them for personal and business purposes. Change is inevitable. Yeah. Uh, however much we fight change, yeah. change has to happen. Yeah. And I don't think everybody is happy with the current fuel prices. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for me, uh, I want to switch as okay. soon as I can. Okay. As soon as the cars are here, I'm switching. <laughs> I'm not even thinking <laughs> twice about it. You're switching. Because who wants to pay fuel every day? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So um, you are bringing, you're also bringing cars and, yes. and buses. So what? We're bringing cars yeah. and buses uh -huh. and trucks and four wheel ah. uh, tuk tuks, which are amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, this is a very um, interesting project. Uh -huh. Like I'm so happy I'm with this company. It's uh -huh. an amazing project that's uh -huh. coming up. This new model of traveling using Green Tech Africa electric tuk-tuks and cars has been tested in countries like Rwanda and Ethiopia and it is doing well and we can't wait to see how it will perform here in Mombasa and Kenya in general. That's all for today. My name is Steven Mwalili and this is Pwani Diaries exclusively on Mwalili TV.